Sports Domestic World Cup Finals. This is one of our favorite events of the year. It's one of the biggest events we cover every year. And this year we're doing a little different. We're doing daily coverage. You're gonna get a video from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All the action, you're gonna get these videos right here. Now we weren't here for Thursday. That was the number one qualifier, but we are here Friday today. We're kicking things off with All Motor with the second qualifier. And then after that, we're gonna do a third qualifier later on in the day. There's some of the craziest stuff you've ever seen on a racetrack here on the property this weekend. We're here to bring you guys all of the action. So here we go. you guys every year what color is it because it's so not it, mystochrome is it it's dupont's chrome illusion blue steel or blue steel chrome illusion however you want to say gotcha. it but it's not the mystic not the ford mystochrome yeah because it's got some other colors it's like a lot of gold in it and so, way more purple yeah so it's we've actually i think we kind of like six yeah, or seven different colors depending on the lighting got gotcha. you inside or outside <laughs> it's one of the most memorable cars because of the color and also you guys do well every year at this event yeah you get what you guys go to the finals for the past couple uh, well we won last year right the year before we actually had um, a borrowed engine so we didn't do too well gotcha uh, but yeah it's uh we've been running this car for many 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 years and we've pretty much got it dialed in oh, yeah. good luck boys thank you absolutely So that's not a real Mr. Chrome Cobra. However, we have a real Mr. Chrome Cobra. If you're giving the thing away, you guys get entered to win right now on 1320 slash shop. Now until midnight, you get three times entries on our giveaway. So go shopping right now. Get yourself a t-shirt, hoodie, a beanie. It's cold out here. Get something. Go shopping. Here we go. All right, Brent, what's the goal for Jamie this past? What's the goal? What are we doing this time? We like to see 840 or faster. Okay. Um, but, you know, it's World Cup. We're just gonna take it as it comes and try to fly. Okay, good luck. All right. That's our buddy Jamie Lankford from PFI Speed from Colorado. I'm sure you guys know PFI Speed at this point. He brought a Civic out here and he's trying to do an 840 or better this pass. Uh, the best on the car ever, I think, is an 8.2. So we'll see what we can do. Apparently yesterday he bogged off the line. Qualifier one was not good for him, so hopefully he can pick it up and do a good pass to qualifier two. Volkswagens here. You never see fast Volkswagens pretty much anywhere, except for here at Maryland, at least for me.
low pressures in those things but maybe a little too low in that one pop the tire right off the rim. It's one of our favorite honda boys how we doing good man how are you not bad i got some broken stuff for you oh you do oh that's right you do because i get slacking all right what what did you do in the first qualifier yesterday not good bog or what i don't know really what happened as of right now it was really weird at like popped out of third when it went into third it's the only thing i can see so I went on the street and did a 2-3 rip, and it held in gear, so I'm going to go again here and see. If it's not good, then I'm going to yank the trans and figure out something that's going on. So. Gotcha. What's, uh, what are you hoping for ET-wise? You know, I had to add weight and sm go a smaller turbo to fit this class. I was about to say. I feel like this class will be more competitive for me and an easier chance to win because, like, you know, yes, we all want to win in six shift or something, but Texas was really luck, you know? Yeah. You know, there's a lot of luck involved there. There's really fast cars, you know, faster cars here than Texas. Well, most of the same cars, but even faster ones. So, well, I think the plan is to just try to go A to B right now and just make it down the track, shift all gears, stay in gear. Okay. And uh, if it's anywhere in the sevens, I'll be like super happy. What kind of power is it making on the current setup with the smaller turbo and everything? You know, I've never had this turbo. I only put on the dyno at like 50 pounds. And, and uh, from what I understand, this turbo can do 65 to 70 with the right combo. So it looked like it was gonna make 60 no problem last night when it okay. went in gear and everything. So I would have to think this is probably a 1400 horse capable, maybe 1450 turbo. You know? Okay. So uh, all of Texas was almost 1500, you know, uh, but I'm a little heavier here, so. Gotcha. Yeah, about 80 pounds heavy. Do you have an ET goal in mind? I'd like to go 7.7 with this combo. So I go a 7.7 last year, the winner won the 7.7, because actually that Mustang right there won all year, super good car, and it ran a consistent 7.70s the entire weekend. So gotcha. I think if it goes anywhere in the 7.70s, 7.80s, it's a very good contender. So. Okay. Well, we'll see what you can do A to B this time. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck, buddy. Yeah, thanks. This car behind me belongs to our buddy Ned Dunphy. Now, you guys might know him from our videos before. He has an orange Viper, and that was the original build. This one was called the Spare, and this one's now like full chassis car, pro mod, big block. Steve Morris engine, I believe, in it. I don't know the whole setup, but it's a brand new build. Uh, they just went to Drag Week with it, completed Drag Week, and now they're here at World Cup. Let's see what Ned plans to do this weekend. One of the things, of the several things that make this race so awesome, is the weather, the temperature, the DA. It's super, super cold in the morning, like frigid cold. This is the type of cold that chills you to your bones kind of cold. But it makes the DA like negative 1,500, negative 1,000, so really, really good for drag racing. But I remember a few years ago, it was especially cold here almost every single day. And one of the things they announced every single day was put some heat in your motors, AKA start your car in the lanes, make sure that things warmed up. That way you don't go down the track and blow it up. They already started announcing it today. I'm sure it's gonna be a theme for the rest of the weekend. Put some heat in your motors. Ned, how we doing, buddy? I'm to give you a hug, buddy. It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? <laughs> it's been a little while. Yeah. Okay, so we've talked about this car in kind of behind closed doors for a while. Yeah. The, so the orange car was the original Viper, and this is called the Spare. The Spare. The Spare. The Spare is a serious car. Yep. Real quick, give me a quick rundown. What are we looking at? Sure. So full tube chassis hidden underneath the Viper wrapper. Uh, we stretched a couple of dimensions so we could make it safer and uh, get the wheelbase out so it's not a big old wheelie machine. Okay. It's powered by an SMX, which is a 572 big block Chevy. Okay. Twin turbo, so twin precision 103s. Uh, fuel tech from front to back for all the data, engine management. I mean, I can tell you what temperature everything is in this car right okay. now, which is okay. pretty sweet. m and transmission lock up. 400 uh, and RK Racecraft. So Ryan Rakestraw and his crew built the whole thing from ground up. Gotcha. So we finished uh, drag week. We just did lights out, and we still. Oh, I didn't know you did lights out with we it too. Out, yeah. Okay. Okay. We uh, okay. qualified 12, and we finished fifth in the pack. If you look at the stack, we made not it to the. Uh, not bad. So so brand new build, but you've already done a couple events with it, yep. and it's done well. What's the best ET you've done with it, quarter mile wise? Uh, quarter mile has been a 640 at 236. Gotcha. Now, what class are you in here? I'm a versus extreme. Okay, do you have to add weight or any different yeah. turbo size? What what all what all's different? We had to add weight. So uh, it's the MPK 2023 rules for this car. Okay. So big block turbo based on uh, cubic inch. We had to, uh, 2650, and we had to add uh, 75, uh, 25 pounds gotcha. for a couple things. So the tech guys, we have pucks on the car to get over the scale. Right. So right now we should be at 3,005. We're about 30 pounds overweight at the moment. Gotcha. With you in the car. With me in the car. Fully, gotcha. Full load. Gotcha. Yep. 
What did you do in your qualifier yesterday? Was, was uh, so we're data, right? Not a lot out in the quarters. It had me out at the 1,000. Uh, and so we went to 644 at uh, 204. But I was out with my shoots. Letting out at 1,000. 1,000 shoots open, yeah. What is the goal today? Are you going to do a full pass today? Or? Full pass right now. Uh, okay. It's going to be probably 60, 65 pounds out the back on boost. Uh, okay. They're doing a lot of drive shaft curve work in the front. These slicks are a whole different animal. Which is, <laughs> it's so fun. Massive tire back there. Uh, so this is probably going to be a 605, 610 pass, uh, 230, 240. And then after we see the data from this, then we go into the fives. Gotcha, gotcha. How does it feel to go in sixes every time? Well, I know in the orange car, you want to do sixes forever, and then this thing, it seemed to happen instantly. Totally and overrated. this is just a monster. Totally overrated. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you right now, sevens were cool, six, eh, we need fives. Okay. I, I don't even care about the six. Like, okay, okay. I thought I'd be doing cartwheels like, meh. It, like yesterday, 644 was a total bummer, okay. which is ridiculous. Okay, so, so low six today in Q2, and hopefully maybe dip into the fives. fives for Q3? Q3, yep. All right, buddy. I, lo I love the cars out here. The first time I got to see it in person, yeah. it looks amazing. Thank you, Fred. Uh, yeah, good luck in the qualifier, buddy. Awesome, man. Great to see you guys. Yeah. Appreciate it. So normally you don't see zoomies on a twin turbo car because that's weird. Normally zoomies go on a supercharged car. Well, the zoomies is actually off the turbo, goes one into three, and then the fourth pipe is actually the waste gate. That Viper is probably one of the coolest things on the property. I, I'm so excited to see that thing run. We've been talking about it for years. He's been talking about the build. I always wanted to do it. He had that Viper forever. And finally, the car is done. I can't wait to see him make a pass. <laughs>
apparently during Q1 yesterday, this one class, Super Street, took a few hours to get done because it's a lot of Hondas and they're pushing their stuff really hard. Uh, they're trying to go as fast as they can and a lot of them are breaking stuff and blowing stuff up. I'm not talking trash on Hondas. They're doing amazing things here at this event and on the track here. But uh, yeah, they didn't, they didn't last last night. It's not taking three hours today to get through this class, but it's, it's taking a little bit. We're kicking off a fast class. This is Outlaw vs. Extreme. It's got the six five second cars in it. We're kicking it off with Ned Duffy and his Viper. Let's see what he can do. from the No Prep Kings TV show, and he's out here racing at World Cup for the second year in a row.
How you doing, Cleeter? Good, how are you, buddy? Good, good, good. So you did a 635 yeah. yesterday at like two something crazy. What are you hoping to do today? Damn rotaries. Today I'm I'm just gonna go to the eighth mile. We went at a 423 yesterday. We're gonna try and go like 419. Just trying to get the short track better. Yeah, I mean we know. Like I think it'll go 240 by the end of the weekend. We're just trying to short track hard now. Where are you at uh, standings wise with your pass yesterday? I think I'm third, but that won't last long. <laughs> fair, fair. These guys are going like 590. So. Yeah. So eighth mile this pass, and then Q3 you're gonna do a full pass. Depending what? on what it does, like we put a lot in it right here so it may spin i don't know okay we'll see good luck buddy thanks
stick shift for Q2. Uh, up first, we got Granis, no, no slouch. Uh, just to update everybody, in case you didn't know, the H pattern stick shift record is a 661, uh, held currently by Grubworm and Tick Performance. They'll be up here in a few pairs. So let's watch my favorite class here, probably my favorite class here. A uh, lot of badass stick cars in this class. Just, just wait. It, it's gonna be worth the watch. Extreme, which is the fast guys. These are five, six second car guys over here. We'll see what Ned can do in Q3 here. By the way, the current number one qualifier in Outlaw vs. Extreme is a 567. That's moving. Uh, a lot of guys, in, a few guys in the 570s, a few guys in the 580s, a few more guys in the 590s, but 567 is the current uh, number one qualifier after two rounds of qualifying. We're about to kick off round three. So we'll see what happens. Also, Outlaw vs. Screen is home to the loudest cars on the property. It's the supercharged, I think it's three in a row. Three huge screw bloating uh, big blocks or hemis, whatever they have. Uh, but they're the loudest cars on the property by far. Just talk with Ned's tuner, he said they're shooting for like a 6-1. Somewhere in the 6-1 range. Maybe at 240, 241. Very exact numbers he was giving me, but that's what they're shooting for.
going on doing? for Q3? What's the game plan? Dude, we're rattling the cold track, but we don't want to go slower than what we've already been. So it has just enough to go like a little faster than what we went the other day, the 633. But uh, it's just a matter of if the track will hold it or not. Gotcha. So we're just kind of screwing around. But we are where we are. We ran a great run, so now we're just. I was about to say you didn't you didn't qualify badly your first first time around. So. Yeah, so we're just chilling. trying stuff. Normally it's the opposite. It's, we're just like <laughs> scrapping for We'll take the luxury now and just I know. mess with it a little that's, bit. That's already our mess with it a little bit. We'll see what happens. Good luck to you. Thank you. I think at this point, at least half of the class in Outlaw vs. Extreme is in the fives. That is insanely wild. I remember coming here years and years ago and you see a couple cars in the fives, now half the class is in the fives. <laughs> That was the fastest pass of the event ever? Uh, we had some pro mods go before, but that's fastest import ever. Import ever. Yeah. Holy here. shit. Hell yeah. Fastest import ever here at this event, at this track. That's awesome. The driver is okay. He got out of the car. Uh, safety equipment did its job. Uh, that's the thing with this with this track. That's the thing with this race. There's going to be some wrecks. There's going to be some broken engines and everything. But so far, nobody's injured. Nobody's hurt. So we're good. They also just announced that we are in the Q3. But if it gets too cold or the dew, we hit the dew point and it gets too wet out there, they're going to have to shut down Q3. They just said Mean Street and Super Street, which are the two classes that account for the most oil downs and breakages. They are done for the night. They're not getting a Q3 today. They're going to get their Q3 tomorrow morning. But we're going to try to get through as many classes classes tonight as we can until the surface just gets unsafe. So that's the game plan right now. Uh, I'm not sure what class we have up now, but we're going to try to just chip away and work at the classes and try to get as many done as we can today. Whatever we don't get done today, those Q3 classes will go into tomorrow morning. You got a lot of show, oh, man. You got to come feel the bad stuff. I mean, I put out smoke a few hours ago. I figured I'd give you a little bit of time. <laughs> what? What? So what exactly happened? We pushed a ton of boost into the, uh, into the block there, 
caused a lot of crankcase pressure and it actually pushed the mechanical fuel pump out of the valve cover. And that that sounds hard to do right there. Yeah, well, yeah. we have a, you know, we got two, a heavy breather. We got two <laughs> dash 10 lines going to a pretty decent sized catch can, but it somehow still built enough to push that pump out. We had some oil spray on that side. In the car, I was worried we like lost the whole motor, honestly. Right, right, right. But we got back here, cleaned it off, put it all back together. We cranked it, it sounded healthy, and then we put the plugs back in it, fired it up, and it sounds great. So, so basically, you guys just pushed the, was the oil pump you said? They pushed that out? The, the mechanical fuel pump. Oh, fuel, I'm sorry. So I pushed the fuel pump out, you pushed that back in, and it just. Yeah, we put it all back together, and it seems fine. So for this pass, we actually put some rags over my catch can filters, okay. and we like clamped everything really tight, just to make sure there was no leaks. So we're thinking maybe that restricted, you know, the, the, it wouldn't let it flow as much. It wouldn't let it flow any that gotcha. air, so I had nowhere to go, and it just pushed that pump out. So we're thinking about possibly changing our catch can setup, and doing a much bigger one with some bigger lines to let it breathe more. Gotcha. What class are you guys in? Uh, Wild Street. Wild Street. So you guys still have your third qualifier coming up tonight? Yeah. Gotcha. Most likely we'll make that tonight, depending on how much time we have. Yeah, yeah. We're technically but, qualified right now. But we so are qualified. qualified. Where are you qualified at right now? Last I checked, we were like mid pack. We okay. did an 8 0. Okay. So, okay. So we're good with our 8 0. We don't make it tonight, no biggie. If we get it fixed, we'll run tomorrow. Okay. So. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that it wasn't like a catastrophic failure. Yeah, you yeah, put a hole wasn't. in the block, nothing like that. I think Kyle's biggest relief was no hole in the block. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to look in there and see a, a rod hanging out of our fresh billet block. And right. I was going to be ready to go home. But you, you it's know, still it's, running. it's unique to hear a Honda engine like blow, blow and then do that and then the smoke comes out of the back of the car it's way unique considering most time you yeah. see it up front i feel like it's kind of tough for me because a lot of those guys they have the hood exits and stuff like if they see any smoke or anything going on they know like oh i can lift right Something's yeah, up. Like, yeah. it's all behind me so as long as it's going i don't know what's happening back right there. yeah exactly and i'm strapped in my haunt like i can't look around i need like a little mirror mid engine like, problem yeah. so i can watch it while i'm making a pass <laughs> Well, like I said, glad to hear it's not broken. We'll see you guys either later tonight or tomorrow. All right. the game plan in the truck this time we gave it a little juice we're gonna go to the thousand probably and let it coast out okay. but you know my track record if it feels good <laughs> just stay uh, in i might just go ahead and run it out i don't know all right remind me what's the best et in the truck uh last year it went 684 okay we just coasted lifted it to seven to a 690 <laughs> so it went substantially faster than the eighth and it right used to yeah so we're, we're, we're hopeful and that was just a test tune i mean that was just to get off the line and roll out a, a little to bit B to read a plug jeez okay. made 30 pounds so we upped it a little bit we're going to try to chase the eighth mile and then like i said go out a little bit past and see okay. what happens but All right. yeah man i'm excited it's running good <laughs> <laughs> it's so wild seeing something this big go I that know. fast yeah it's it's it, still wild to it see. is anyway good luck to you thank you sir absolutely All right, buddy. watching a full-size pickup run a six is just crazy and it's all metal it's not like fiberglass that's all steel still like it's it's just crazy seeing a truck do that <laughs>
Okay, so Jordan Martin and the Lambo behind me, they call it Alpha Omega AMS built it for him. Uh, last pass he came up for Q2, it wouldn't do a burnout, it wouldn't launch, whatever it was doing, it was, it was having trouble and they were trying to... Uh, oh, what the f <laughs> You almost killed me right there, what are you I doing? I didn't see you. It's okay. Here we go, final pair of... Cletus just almost, literally almost killed me right there. Anyway, uh, so Jordan Martin went up there. His car was having issues. He wouldn't do what he wanted it to do. They wouldn't figure it out. And Von Donnie, we went up two wheels. About what? You talking about the Lambo? Yeah. I want to see a six. You know, funny story. Uh, it wouldn't, it wouldn't do a burnout. It wouldn't do launch control or anything like that. Because Lamborghinis from the factory and their computer says you can only do 250 launches and then launch out. Yesterday they did their 250 and what they didn't know. Oh, wow. Did they get that reset? So they got it reset to 1,000. Oh. So they have 750 more launches. So they should what be good. What a lame now. thing to try and limit. Right? I mean, what? At 250, the warranty's gone or My whatever. My Porsche's got to be over 1,000. Oh, easily. Yeah, that limit would be done for. <laughs> I'll be there in a week. <laughs> guys that is going to go ahead and do it they have pushed all the other classes to tomorrow that's going to do it for day one this has been friday at world cup finals uh, we will be back tomorrow for qualifier four and five and then sunday will be the start of elimination so uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow hopefully you guys saw so there was a lot of exciting stuff a lot of fast passes a lot of carnage today so hopefully you guys like the video we'll see you guys tomorrow. You want to sing? Go ahead and sing. Come on. <laughs> These are the World Cup final announcers, and they're not allowed out of the room for a reason.